Morning, girls. This is back with Amber Lynn Reed. All right. I, I finished recording and I went because I usually, when I do my uh, video, I always make sure to link to the original. So I go to the original videos again to get the link. And then, um, of course, I see she just posted one. I was just like, oh, okay, of course, whatever. Sure. This is eating Taco Bell in bed at 2 a.m., which honestly I relate to. Me and her were same wavelength right here. Cooked my mom my famous chili. Beautiful. Can't wait. And making personal charcuterie board. <laughs> It's all food related this time, I've noticed. Like, admittedly, maybe last time we had the troll in thing with the Panda Express to meet the after her good way in. So, I guess this is still trying to clickbait. It's all about food. She knows her food stuff generally overperforms great everything. Uh, let's get straight into it. I, I actually kind of enjoyed last one. If you watched, uh, it was a lot more fun than Foodie Beauty stuff. Uh, because at least. At least her one feeder thing was her eating the phallic mozzarella stick with chicken salad on it. And it was her trying to awkwardly squeeze herself into frame. Which admittedly was pretty funny. It's better than just watching 25 minutes straight of like Foodie Beauty slowly just glomping away on food. So let's go guys. Hello. Welcome Hello. to my vlog. So we're going to start off with a little mini personal charcuterie oh, board. Oh, exciting. That literally is going to be knockoff. So is your mom there again? Because I heard I heard someone rustling around. Maybe it could be one of the cats or something like that. I, it's just constantly, just constantly. Her mom is like never out of her fucking house. I like the jump cut before charcuterie board when she clearly is like, fuck, I have no idea what this thing's called. <laughs> I relate to that too, though. Charcuterie board because it's not going to be that great. Okay. So I have the whole We've seen this board set up, a lot before, honest. though. I have yeah. a whole moment. This big oh, but I'm gonna use this. Oh, what was it? Was it a cheese board she got? Because I, I I was excited because I thought she got like a cheese board. Was it which was the cream cheese? like a shimmer to an outlet. It was that thing. She got what that I thought was. I was I was at first I was like, oh yeah, that's a charcuterie board. And I'm like, oh no, it wasn't. I think it was a cheese board with like special cheese knives and stuff. Like I was excited. I thought we were gonna get that again. Never small. mind. The small fella. So I'm gonna show you. Everything How is that gonna have small? Plates. That's so like, like my last vlog. I. That's the thing you put in the middle of a party. <laughs> the small plate. Jesus, Amber, I wonder why you're 600 pounds. Hold these for you guys. They're salted garlic chips. Yep. I still have not tried them. Oh, so no. I'm definitely going to try these. Now let's go into my fridge. Obviously, we're going to have some salami. Oh, obviously. Port wine cheese spread with, like, almonds. No, just why wouldn't you want more salt? For a woman who is, like, 90% lymphedema, apparently, she, she she loves her salty snacks. Some of that. So we have uh, Kalmata olives, but okay. I also have green olives. So okay, green exciting. Olives. And then over here, <laughs> so much salt. Pantry. She's I just, these... she is just going to. It's going to be like a fucking tequila shot. She's going to just like put some salt on her hand, just lick it off at some point. <laughs> Why not? Just more and more salt. Those. What are those? Oh, what, what were those again? I'm trying to. Those are pink Himalayan salt crackers, weren't they? She got them last episode. Everything's salt. This woman's really going for like the blood pressure world record or something like that. She's gonna have a nosebleed by the end of this. Pretzels that I also got. Pink Himalayan salt. Yeah. They're not flat pretzels bread. or flatbread. So now I'm gonna assemble it. I'm gonna put you guys on my little tripod. Some people get excited for Avengers Assemble. I get excited for charcuterie board assemble. Oh, I, I cannot wait. I'm, I'm so excited to see this, I guess. Mainly because I want to see what that looks like out of the wrapper because it looks. It looks weird. It looks like fish sticks. You know, those be like fish cake things you get. It looks like those. Are the crab sticks? Is it crab sticks? I think it's crab sticks. It looks like those. You know, like white in the middle, red on the ice. It looks like that, just diced up and just stuck in like a congealed mess. I, so I really, I don't know what the fuck it is. She's, she said it like three times already. Uh, every single time, it just goes through my head and I go, cheese. And that's, that's all I, cheese. <laughs> that's all it, all my brain tells me. It takes all the information and passes the word cheese to me. God. Okay, first things first. Oh, let's add the cheese. So, now we're that, gonna add some. So that, that's 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 all I got previously as well. What the fuck is it? It's the weirdest looking cheese I've ever fucking seen. Salami. I promise, if I was doing this for like a get together and not just by myself, I would like be decorative. Like I would fold them. Yeah, sure you I would. I would have like fruit. And no, you wouldn't. No, you would. no, you stop it. <laughs> stop, stop it. You don't care about anyone. You wouldn't. And before anyone says anything, no, I am not gonna eat all this cheese. Sure. That would literally make me sick. I just sure. It looks cute. So next is some of the olives. Some ganky some ass looking olives. I'm also gonna put the green. This is a, is a real cheese to meat to olive ratio. It's just it's very imbalanced here and so far. Here, only need a few, and then I'm gonna. Bro, you have so much salami, and you've got basically no olives. You've got an olive per, I don't know, slice of maybe two slices of salami at this stage. Okay, some of the crackers. Yep. They're actually a lot longer than I was expecting them to be. And then some of these garlic Why? chips. Oh my god, this looks so bad. Like, I need something here. If I could have anything here right Bro, let's not pretend you're only going to have fucking five and a half of those fucking chips. Can we? Bro, really? 
Oh god, if I wish I had something else to put here because I'm only having five of these chips. It will take you like four months to eat that box. Right now it would definitely be strawberries. I don't know if strawberry would go with any of that flavor combination, but like you do, you boy. But we're gonna stick with something else. Tic Tacs. They're like hot tamales. They're like little candies. What the fuck? Okay. This doesn't look half bad. I'm what not a lie. weird security. Like cheese... Where did your volume go? Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> she just suddenly went silent. Spreader. Let me see if I can find it. So it should be in here. This volume came back. Thanks. <laughs> yes. Is that siren? It came with the. Oh, do you guys hear the siren? Okay. I hope everything is okay. So this I, actually came. I really. I don't. I do you know what. I'm gonna be honest. I think you don't. I think you don't give a shit what happens on the other end of that siren. I think you're 100. The second it fucks away off, it doesn't interrupt this very important vlog of yours. I guess we can turn it down again because you found your fucking volume. It, where's the Where's the cheese board thing? She got the cream cheese like a shimmer tree outlet. Where is it? Because that, that came with like cheese knives and all in built like built in it. I remember it because it was really kind of cool. Came as a whole set, so it's pretty neat. Okay, so I can't really show you guys no. where it's gonna fall. But you guys already saw what it looked like. I think well, you like, I'm could. actually gonna be watching the new uh, Squid Games, the challenge. Oh, that's okay. Nice. Let's taste test. I haven't watched it at all because, firstly, I just I don't care about like rally TV show kind of like game show competition thing. I just I just don't care. I remember an article coming out, and I do remember laughing at the irony of people complaining that they had to endure inhuman conditions, and by that they mean they had to stand in the cold for a while um, whilst it was being filmed. And it's like, bro, you're literally we're we're we're, we're past like. Everything is just silly, right? <laughs> when, when people are sitting there, like, copying a game show where everyone dies, and they're like, I had to deal with inhuman conditions. It was quite cold, and they didn't let me move around a lot because I had to stand in place during the fucking freezing game. And I saw that, I was like, I, that guarantees I'm never gonna fucking watch this. <laughs> it's a garlic chip? Like, what is that? A garlic chip? It's probably a chip made of garlic. Okay. Wow. Texture is crunchy. Flavor is really, garlicky. Really? She's good. Now I'm gonna take one. So tired. <laughs> what was the point? What was the point of the face zoom in? Like I, I, I don't know. Like I, I, I'm gonna say what I do here. Very low effort. I'm. I've always been very happy to admit that I'm. A, I'm a very low effort kind of guy. But when you're sitting going like, how am I gonna make this quirky and interesting? It's like I guess I'll pull a bit of a face, like a, a bit of not even like an overly exaggerated face, but a bit of a face, and I'll do a crash zoom in on my face. That's it. That's literally all I'm going to do. And that, that, that is the level of my editing for this video. I was like, oh. Cool, bro, I, I guess. A little cheese spreader. And we're about to spread some cheese. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Another yeah. It's going to crack. That's some... How... Yeah. You can't spread it. It's solid. It's not a soft cheese, bro. Told you. How about let's just like dollop it's... it on there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a Someone solid piece of had cheese. cheese before. Sounds familiar. Who knows? I don't even know what it is. So... It's cheese. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my god. She likes the so cheese. Good. Okay, I'm gonna add some cheese. We're gonna do a whole moment, okay? We're, we're we're fully just like we're in like feeder central now. It is just this woman sitting here eating cheese. <laughs> I guess that's good. I guess. And now she's just sitting here eating cheese. I'm gonna add some salami. How does a woman who does basically nothing, like nothing? Nothing. There's no. She, she's not a woman who does like any form of physical activity, physical labor, anything. How come her like fingernails get chipped so quickly? Like she, it was only like the last video she had it like brand new and they look good. I realize it's probably been like three days since she filmed that, but it's just she doesn't do anything. You would think it would last, especially because we know she doesn't shower daily. Yeah, you just, you just assume it would last. We got the salami there. Oh. We're gonna have an olive. Oh, crazy. All right. Oh my God, she's insane. No wonder the feeders come to her for the content. Who who would think of putting an olive on top of salami on top of cheese on a cracker for a charcuterie board? Oh, crazy. I, I, I would give her so much more credit if she put one of those like hot cinnamon tamale things or whatever the fuck they were called. I, I, I would appreciate it more if she just put one of those on top and was like, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Cheers. Come by. Mm hmm It's launch ya. 10 out of 10, recommend. Okay, so I ate all of the... That is a lot of fucking cheese. She ate so much cheese. Holy actual shit. <laughs> uh, clearly, she didn't like the garlic things. It was so weird that she said they were nice, but, like, she she left 50% of them, basically. And Okay, cool, 100%. Why, why, why would you not want to, like, eat less cheese? <laughs> and maybe eat more of, like, the healthy stuff? You know, like the... 
random sweets at the top. Salami and the olives and... Just everything salty. Else I have left. So I'm just going to go put the cheese back in the fridge. And that was a really good meal. It was, was very it? satisfying. I don't think it no, was. No, I don't know what it is. That's a really nice sky. Just to put it really... Well, that's a really nice looking sky. It is, but the sky... Is cool. Is literally doing something for me. It is so cool. Look how cool it looks. No, oh, turn it back. Turn it back. Know. There you go. Ah, oh, the there you go. The one time Amber has filmed anything even slightly visually appealing and i include her in all of that <laughs> like yeah like, yeah it's it's a, it's a nice looking sky it was better before she started panning around showing like the shittier bits but yeah just point straight up that was pretty nice you know good work amber you saw something outside your house for once and filmed it because you thought it looked cool i am actually impressed with you like now we know in like five minutes she'll have gone shopping to 16 different places and gone eat out in 17 different places and she will film exactly one nanosecond of it but whatever i'll take what i can get of mother nature ours and ours that's a lot oh, of ours storming for Jesus the first Christ. time since i have been living in oklahoma it like wow. literally looks like a flood is happening outside there's lightning thunder can you not show us <laughs> we just came from her showing the nice sky and actually i'm, I'm somewhat impressed that she actually and then it just hard cuts to her just like not showing us anything and being like, oh, it's really stormy outside. Show us. It'd be a perfect opportunity for you just to show us. We'd be interested. They're like, my poor babies are so scared. Okay. And this is only the third time it's rained. Like, what? So I wanted to okay. show you the tumblers that I got from the good old Walmart. Oh, my God. Look at how gorgeous. They look like shit. They Tell look, me these aren't. They look like the same tumblers you buy literally every month. They look so standard. <laughs> They're the most like, basic bitch we've seen this a million time tumbler. Wow. Wow, I'm so, I'm so glad she got got her mom to drive all the way back to give her these tumblers so she could include them. Jesus Christ! Okay, why why do you need these? She never leaves her house. She never leaves her house. She never has like nice drinks. She is drinking Pepsi. She's drinking Pepsi or she's drinking water straight from a water bottle. Why do you need tumblers? Beautiful. Literally the same quality as the Starbucks ones, which I'll show you the ones I have. So oh, I need to wash these before quality? I them away, obviously. Yeah, obviously. But the ones that I do have, I have a pink same. one and like a... <laughs> they, they all look the same. They all look exactly... Why, do you, why does she have Starbucks, like, tumblers, if she has never had a Starbucks before, based on her last video? Why, 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 why would she have those? I just like the brand, I guess. Very basic bitch of her. They all look exactly the same. She now has five tumblers that all look the same. They're just slight variations on color. Maroon. These are both Starbucks brand. And then I also think I got this from Walmart. And then I have the Stanley. If we want to talk wow. cups in general, this is all that I have. Yep. I have two of these guys. Two of these. Yep. One mug. I hate glass. Those. Glass mugs are terrible. And now these cuties. So as you guys know, I discovered Gatorade yeah. Zero Glacier Freeze, which is you know for when she needs to get her sweat on as the prime athlete she is. You know she need she needs that she needs those isotopes. That's not even close to whatever the word was, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. She she definitely needs she needs she needs uh, the the sodium in it. She she needs to get the electrolytes. That's it. Why did I say isotopes? Oh, that's nuclear, isn't that's from the Simpsons? Uh, <laughs> she, she needs electrolytes. She's out there. She's working like nonstop, guys. Cool, whatever, fucking nonsense. I can't believe Gatorade has become, like, a recurring character. Gatorade has as much screen time as her fucking mom does. It's literally the best. I started drinking it. I started becoming obsessed with it. And people yep. were like, Emberlyn, you don't actually need that. Yep. Maybe I don't. But I will say what I have noticed is ever since I started... Maybe I don't. Yep, you you don't. Arguably, most people don't need it who drink it. That is, that is a, a solid point. But... Who's, who's, who was in the comments section and typed in, like, Amber, you don't need to be drinking that. It's like, bro, have you seen the size of her? There's about 5,000 calories a day that she doesn't need and she hasn't paid attention to your advice yet. Drinking these, I feel more hydrated no, and don't. I don't really get Charlie horses in my legs anymore. So I am trying okay. to wake up. Bro, you, I'm, can we just not? <laughs> can, we, can we just not? The, the sports drink is not helping you apparently not get like dead legs or something not sure whatever bro moving doing more so You're when that happens sometimes more. at night while i'm sleeping i get charlie horses but ever since i started drinking this i don't get them anymore but right. then i sadly went to the store and they didn't have gatorade zero glacier freeze oh crazy and i was like crap what do i do so i ended up being without these for like a week and i started getting charlie horses again i was like is this a coincidence you, you can't have been without them for a week because it was only about a week ago maybe maybe maximum of two weeks ago 
she bought 24 of them. So unless she drinks multiples of them a day, like three a day, four a day, there's no way she would have run out and had to go a full week without them. L- literally no way. There, No way. And I had to go a week without them. There are other flavors. Like, she's, she's trying to make it, like, argue that she's having them because they're, like, a health benefit to her now. But apparently not enough of a health benefit that you would try a different flavor. Apparently. Like, yeah, it could only, you only have the Glacier Freeze one. Z- zero? What, even though it's 80 calories, so I don't, I don't get what the, the zero is. But, like, sure, 100%, bro. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, what, like, let's pretend it's real. What is the reason that she's not getting Charlie horses or whatever the fuck she's calling them now? Like, it, it, whilst lying down, apart from, like, just lose weight and you'd probably be sort of that. The sodium? She has more than enough sodium. Potassium? Eat a fucking banana. <laughs> eat, a, eat a fucking banana. Like a, a woman your size who is as unhealthy, she should probably be on a multivitamin already. So just have one of those. You don't need this shit, especially if you're drinking like three or four of them a fucking day. I don't know. So I said, screw it. Since I can't get the zero, I'll just get the regular one, which does suck, I will say, because it's like, like look at those carbs, look at the sugars, look at the calories. Well, wait, so this is the... The, the 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 non-zero one i thought the front of it said zero I, I i'm probably entirely wrong ignore everything i'm saying apart from still probably not good for you when i usually drink has zero all of that and it's crazy but i prefer okay the zero like this one it tastes great like i love it i'm obsessed i'm definitely gonna drink them sure but the other one tastes so much better well i'm pretty sure she probably could just order them off like amazon as well and got them within that week time frame it's I I I'm I'm so, I just don't get it. I just don't get why why this is like a central part of the storyline is her drinking Gatorade. Like you could just have I don't know not drank four a day, so you didn't run out of your twenty four in a few days. Apparently, you you could have ordered them off Amazon when you were getting low. I can't imagine they ran out of stock everywhere for a full week, but like sure whatever. And you could have just had like a different flavor in the zero if you don't want to have calories. And it just, it's such a, it's a weird thing for me to focus on, but it's a weird thing for her to focus on, too. Hello, next hello. Day. It is the next day. I know. If I look you tired, said. I am tired. Oh, crazy. So, two nights ago. Do you think you could do a bingo game with her and have that if, if I look tired? It's because I am. Do you think you could have that? Do you think you could have that and you're just like, it basically be a free spot? Because it's, it, it seems she nearly says it in every single fucking vlog. I only slept for two hours. And then sure, last I night, don't believe you. I only slept for four. I don't so, believe you. You know what? I'm grateful that I got any sleep at all, yeah, but I, I am you. definitely low on energy. I'm tired. It was all worth it though. Um, but I just, I, I just, well, firstly, I just don't believe you. I'm just gonna say I just don't believe you. And maybe you should stop drinking Gatorade, which like I don't think they're fully like an energy drink. But maybe you should stop drinking Gatorade, like especially four of them a day, because that might affect you. <laughs> My mom and her boyfriend are actually coming over oh, today. Crazy. And I'm making some chili. Um, it's the first time that soup. she's ever had my cooking ever like you, i'm 32 said and she has never numerous times you said this my cooking before so eaten, but that's okay. gonna be fun and interesting and i know there's like jokes there's memes whatever it may be where people talk about my chili online it's not like a joke or a meme your chili just looks like shit <laughs> I, it's, I know there's jokes and memes about no it's just your chili looks like shit it's not a joke or a meme it's a statement of fact your chili looks like shit but everyone in my real life who has ever tried it thinks it's the best like, yeah sure one of my exes the pickiest can ever. We not? And can we not? She said that's the best chili she's ever had. Yeah, people lie. People lie to you, especially when you're a weird, manipulated person. People lie to you. They also pretend that they liked you until the second they broke up with you, and then they all shit all over you. Yes, like people lie to you, especially when you're a weird, controlling, manipulated person in a relationship. They're, they're going to say, like, I'm sorry. Like I, I've said to my girlfriend before that she looks nicer in a dress than she has. That the, the food she's made has been nicer than it has. It's it just. It's what you do in a relationship, you know? You don't want to go like, oh, yeah, that's the nicest thing I've ever had when it's absolutely dog shit. You're, people might, because, like, I don't know, you'd probably go mental and start screaming at them if they ever dare question you. But, like, yeah, it's it's fairly standard in a relationship to, like, make something that's a six sound like a seven. So, literally, anyone who's ever tried it loves it. Sure. Um, I love it. Zachary like, Michael I do not know how to cook. No, I've made don't. some very questionable choices in the past with soups. Especially when I was with, 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 with soups like your fucking chili, <laughs> like what? It, it, I remember saying, like, on my live stream, someone asked like, "Who's cooking is better? Like, uh, who's would you rather have, Amber's or Foodies?" And I said, "Foodies," because Foodie looks like she knows how to like cook something. Like, it doesn't look super nice, but it looks perfectly edible. 
Nothing I've ever seen Amber cook. And I actually mean cook. I don't mean when she said she's a really good cook and she just put like pork chops in an air fryer for like 37 hours for some reason, brought out like charcoal, that kind of shit. I don't mean that kind of shit. I mean when she actually cooks stuff. Eating Destiny. Um, very questionable. They always tasted good. Um, so, I would never make a soup like that now. So now she's... I just make that very clear. My, one of my exes, and then she mentioned Destiny by name. It is, it's so weird that she's like... So was the one of my exes? Because like, Feline said, don't talk about me anymore. So now she doesn't refer to Feline by her name. She just calls her my last ex or my previous ex or my current ex or whatever the fuck she calls her. Uh, now, one of my other exes, I'm assuming she is referring to Becky. Because Becky also said, don't talk about me. You know, so she's just doing that weird shit. But Destiny, I don't think has ever said, don't talk about me. Because Destiny's a clout goblin and just wants people to talk about her. So like, I'm assuming that's why she's happy to say Destiny's name. Because Destiny's never said it. It's... It's such a weird... Maybe just, like, stop talking about your exes entirely. I, I, I very rarely think of, like, just in my day-to-day, -day, like, life, where they, which is apparently what her vlogs are. My exes don't come up, like, fucking every single day, apparently. So, uh, my looks chili is almost done. It's gross. been simmering for about 20 minutes Jesus now. Jesus Christ. So, I'd say it probably has about 10 more. Okay, so my mom and her boyfriend have been gone for some hours. Uh, I didn't vlog because I'll vlog in front of my mom, but I get a little shy to vlog in front of her boyfriend, like... I don't imagine you do. You, you vlog yourself in public. You vlog yourself in like the casino. You vlog a church. I, I don't. I don't really buy that whatsoever. Wasn't like a boyfriend, the fiance. Wasn't he at like one of the bingo days as well? Like a hundred percent, she vlogged when she was at the bingo thing with the with the fiance. Like me and him, we get along really good. I really like him, but like we get on good. Just vlogging in front of certain people, but I was shocked. Crunch. Um, they loved my chili. They both got up to get a second Whoa. bowl. And you I was were like, shocked by that? Even though you just spent like the entire time talking about how everyone in the entire world thinks it's the nicest thing ever. You but you were shocked that they like it. It's almost like this entire storyline is fake. Like, I'm sorry. It is the weirdest fucking flex that I've ever heard that she claims literally everyone. There are some people who will just not like things. You, you could get the, the greatest cook to create the nicest dish in the entire fucking world. And he could give it to 20 people. And maybe five of them would be like, eh, I don't know. It was all right, I, I guess. I didn't, eh, it was, and like, probably five people would be like, ah, oh, it was pretty shit. I really didn't like it. Didn't like it at all. Because that's just how people are. Like, taste buds are different for people. But it's weird that Amber seems to think she always has a 100% approval rating. And it's not just like, eh, it was pretty good. It was always like, this is the greatest thing I've ever had. I, okay, I did that. Normally, I make my chilies more like a chili soup because I really love broth. But I wanted to make it more soup. thick this time. Came out really so, freaking good. So um, people, so people bullied you into changing your soup recipe because like this is the only reason we got this whole diatribe at the start. People have bullied her now into changing it to make it less like a soup. I like to eat mine with Fritos, so my mom had hers with Fritos as well. Wow. Uh, but her boyfriend requested saltines, so I got those for him. And then while we were eating, do you people not eat it with like fucking I don't know like rice or anything? Do you, do you do people dip crackers? And like Doritos into chili? Is that what you Americans do? You guys are fucking weird. <laughs> you guys are fucking weird. Um, I had them watch A Simple Favor, but it turns out I've already had my mom is. watch that movie, if you guys know me. That's my favorite movie. But I her boyfriend's never seen it. So, um, yeah, an amazing movie. And there's going to be a second one that's supposed to come out at the end of 2024, like the beginning of 2025. So, wow. hurry it up. I, what the fuck? Where oh, are we doing this fucking fridge again? Hi, is she so bankrupt on ideas? We're doing the fridge thing again. Oh God, no! It's fucking POV. You're the last glacier free zero getter in. You're about to get fucking deep throated. Hello. Oh, we're not in the fridge. Okay. I don't take any of it back, though. <laughs> I don't take any of it back. Hey, I'm actually about to just have some of these hot tamales. Oh my God. I used to eat these as a little girl. I was like a random little. Oh my god, that's absolutely gross! Jesus Christ, the feeder shit is—it's—it's it's out of this world. I used to eat them as a little girl. Wow, really? That's a really interesting story. I—I I guess that you ate candy when you were young. I guess. Story time. So my. I just had to include that because, Jesus Christ, the feeder shit is just too intense. My dad, when I was younger. I ate um, care. When I lived with him. Yes, I was in foster care. People get confused because, like. People get confused because you lie constantly and constantly change the dates you're in foster care, what age you went in, when you went back, who you stayed, all everything. People get confused. 
because you change the story a lot. It's not people are getting confused. You are just bad at telling your story. That's why. Because you change it constantly. Because it's whatever it needs to exist to make your narcissistic ideal of reality fucking real. I... Oh, God. I... I the last the last vlog was kind of good because we kind of stayed away from most of this shit. The worst we got was her randomly just mentioning Feline and the, the song thing. And then the, someone special sent me something. Uh, oh my god that shit that's that's the worst we got never getting a, a, a fucking when i was when i was young uh my dad uh before i went in foster care because yeah guys i was in foster care we were getting one of these again i'll share stories about like foster care and then like times where i lived with my parents i'm like yes both of those things happened but anyways my dad had his own that's, okay that's not what i th I, th I thought she was gonna go for no one's confused that she was with her parents at one point and in foster at a different point. No one was confused about that. People are confused about when, where, how, if, where, all that kind of shit. They're not confused that it happened. On more shop. Like, he had his own business. A lot of sketchy things have happened there. Sure. Things I remember. Things that my mom have recently reminded me about. Sure. Girl, maybe we could share some of those stories some other time. But um, no. I loved going there. And I would sit in a little, like, office thing. And when someone would come up, I'd be like, okay, let me get my dad. There is distinct fun things I do remember. Um, one of them is we have this, like, huge Popeye machine. That we actually had in like the lobby. So I play that a lot. And then we have. I, I don't know. I'm sitting here just. I really. Yeah. I really just don't care. I just don't care. Because I just don't believe this is real. It's like when Boogie now starts like talking about his, her, his hard childhood. And whilst I might go like. Yeah. You, you might have had a hard childhood. Something bad might have happened. Whatever. Most people who have like. Who get the 600 pounds. There, there's something that caused them to rely on food entirely. As their coping mechanism. I'm sure of it. But the problem is, you've lied so much, I just don't find myself ever investing in any of the stories, or caring, or even, like, even, like, partitioning a tiny section of my brain to thinking it's even real, you know? I just sit there, I just stare at it and go, like, this is someone just trying to entertain me and just being really bad at it. That's all, that's all I think of when I, like, it might make me sound really heartless, but I don't fucking know. I just sit there and stare and go, uh-huh. Yep, yep, oh, oh, yep, oh, yep, that's interesting, bro. This little, like, candy machine, and I would always eat the hot tamales out of there. Crazy. That's literally my story time. Wow, that was the <laughs> like, most boring shit I've ever heard. From that place. I mean it, but um, hot tamales reminds me of that era of my life. So, you have all these interesting stories about all this crazy, shitty stuff that happened from your dad who ran a business but was also, like, so addicted to meth that, like, he was letting his, like, children, like, die and shit like that. But, like, the most interesting story you could think of was... I remember his office because there were sweets. This, do you see why? I, do you see why my brain doesn't even try and process this shit? And she's like, whatever. <laughs> you do you, bro. <laughs> I could work away. It's kind of like not good, but like I was craving them. So I was like, oh my God. But like my memory and my heart is just like, Ooh. Wow, that was fast. Hello. So, oh my God, I just stood outside for an hour. Oh my God, you're Uber drunk again? Because I got some Taco Bell. It's a moment. It's wow. fine, I promise. And I met a guy, and I shaked his hand. I shaked his hand? Oh my god, we're getting another fictitious person in your life? That's so interesting. Fantastic. Well, I'm assuming there's been drunk Instagram stories and Q&As and all again recently, because she's like, absolutely fucking hammered. Fantastic. And it has to be the softest hand I've ever felt. So, wow. um, anyways, I was out there for like an hour. I didn't realize I was going to be out there for an hour, but the Uber was running very behind, which yeah, happens. I don't Not believe complaining. you. But I'm just going to say like at 2 a.m. is usually the time when like food doesn't take hours and hours to reach you. Like especially Taco Bell, which is not overly hard to make. It's pretty quick. It's a fast food for a reason. I, I just can't imagine. And I also can't imagine that Amber was like, well, do you know what? I, I ordered my Taco Bell. I will go and just stand outside and wait for it for an hour because I just. I, Amber doesn't come across like someone who is like okay experiencing any hardship in her life whatsoever, even when she's trying to pretend to be super drunk. So I, I just, I, I, I don't imagine. I think Amber was the type of person who would sit inside and just eat whilst waiting for her food to show up to eat. It's like 33 degrees and I wasn't wearing a coat. My nose like yeah, burns sure. yeah, sure. and my cheeks burn and my fingers were numb. Uh -huh. but sure. Your, your face would be considerably redder if you were like standing outside in like super cold temperature. For a, a full hour, especially if you're not wearing like a jacket and this is what you went out. Your your face would be considerably redder. But we're okay. Um, we're gonna do a Taco Bell haul. Um, wow. Yeah. So I was massively craving. They're just like chips and nachos. You could have just left it at massive. <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm more interested in this than fucking that fake story about her her dad's office having 
hot tamales in it. I guess I'm more interested in seeing what comes from Taco Bell because I don't really get to have Taco Bell ever. So I guess it's interesting. Let's oh, see. So you just get those little chips and nachos. That's crazy. <laughs> chips and cheese. Wow, cheesy. And then a little bit of chips that we got Whoa, there. Oh, some chips. And yes, um, it's actually 2 a.m. right now. Oh, so crazy. <laughs> oh, boy. And I got two of these tacos because they're making me feasy. It's just like the... Remember, this is the woman who like claims that she hasn't slept in two days, but she's like up at 2 a.m. getting Taco Bell. It's like, I wonder why you don't don't get much sleep <laughs> and yes i do also believe she's lying i do believe that she's getting a reasonable amount of sleep it is just her being her and just lying and exaggerating remember this is the woman who used to take naps in the middle of the day back during the feline era and everything like that and now she's claiming that she's on like a diet where she's like you know eating a reasonable amount she doesn't have the amount of calories you usually have so the idea that she is getting two hours of sleep a night is it, it's purely fictitious her existing would tire you out that's why her base bet metabolic rate is like five, I think it was like 4,500 to 5,000 calories. I can't remember what exactly it was when I calculated for how much weight she would need to lose. Regular hard taco, but it's like the the cheese one. So You guys have seen me like do a mukbang of this. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad when she's pretending to be drunk, she can still like do this shit you know do the whole like feeder shit uh if it's gonna be her just sitting here just eating it and like staring into the camera because she really needed to please dave from minnesota so he could pull one off to it and send her 500 dollars probably not gonna watch it that's bomb I found some chips at the bottom of the bag so yep score for me oh, exciting. Anyways, i don't know hi i'm not doing vlogmas this year it's been weird for me crazy everyone just uploaded their first vlogmas video oh so insane it must be so sad for you because feline or something or you know something like that i guess because feline existed vlogmas can't or whatever whatever storyline we're going for uh i'm ca i am kind of curious about the vlogmas thing because like i said i guess i got egg in my face because i thought it was going to be a big like sudden last second actually guys i have a new girlfriend i'm gonna do it or oh my my mom's gonna be here and we're gonna do it together we're gonna have a special family vlogmas so our first vlogmas i thought it was gonna be something like that i didn't think we weren't actually gonna do it um but like okay i guess there's no vlogmas like she hasn't been producing a lot of content and her view counts have gone down but her, her content is getting more feedery, so maybe it is accurate that she is being paid behind the scenes by men so she can film shit like this and include this in all. Of, it's why she's eating all the phallic stuff recently. It's why she's, like, talking about guys and giving guys her phone number and stuff like that. Like, maybe she has a bunch of men who are her feeders, and she's doing the whole, like, am I really a lesbian? Because, like, I've, I've already made a point. She's starting to clickbait her sexuality. Is she doing that for, like, simps? Is she doing that to hope, like, guys will be interested in that? I think, oh, maybe I have a chance. Maybe if I send her some money, she'll be my big fat queen. You'll sit on my face occasionally and i don't i, I don't know maybe maybe just maybe that's the method of fucking execution uh yeah sure uh yeah if this is gonna be her eating i just i don't care and i am like oh that was once gonna be me that once was me and instead wow. i am eating taco bell in my bed yeah oh okay crazy it's it, because of like she's obviously playing up the drunkness it's just like because she's really let it slip there to the last she was talking she really just dropped the whole pretending to be drunk thing it's not it's not really overly interesting i'm more interested in like the financial thing because i like how is she financially supporting herself as much she'll still be making decent money she still gets decent numbers of views but nothing like she used to get like at all especially when she's living by herself and like supporting herself but really we know when she was living with feline she was like supporting feline entirely as well she's doing all the pay that's just what she does in relationships so i guess she is just saving money by being single because she isn't paying for everything for the other person too hello so it's been like 10 Hi. minutes these chips are the gross wow grossest things i've ever tasted i was looking forward to this more than anything else they taste like poisoned sure bro you're really you're really quirky the the extra extra emphasis you're putting on it by pretending to be drunk it's really fun we still know you're gonna eat this she still has a fucking fairy heron holy shit bitter oil chips you're still gonna eat it though disgusting okay oh, so no. My sh are we going in the fridge we're always in this dang fridge aren't we yes yes you are I fast two buzz balls. don't come for me yeah since most of my meal sucked um i might have a few pieces of she's really <sighs> Like, so, the drunken thing. Is is she doing the drunken thing because she's, like, I don't know, trying to, like, give herself an excuse to be, like, weird on camera? Like, I'm amazed it isn't, like, clickbaity. Well, I'm really eating Taco Bell in my bed at 2 a.m. She could have made that clickbaity or whilst drunk or something like that. 
drunkenly eating, you know, something like a mission and make it like even more clickbaity. But like, she, okay, I guess she didn't fill her quota of how much she needed to eat on camera for people. So now we're just gonna have her eat just raw Italian sausage, you know? Salami. So, huh? Salami's so good. Like I realized, everything about salami is the very thing that I hate in life. Cold, gross, red-looking meat that is just. Everything I hate. It was like she was trying to start one of her poems, like the cream cheese is like a shimmer to an island. It's like she was trying to start one of those and she just kind of ran out of words. <laughs> she just ran. She just, her brain just like control deleted that shit. I was like, now nah, we good. We good. Really, really, truly. Like, ew. But I grew up on it. So you look I'm like used it, to it. Too. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. It's not healthy by any means, but she's tasty. So? So, yes. Yeah, but. It just isn't this just like the most telling shit? This is the most like feeder shit? Like the bedroom fucking eyes with her salami? I mean, instead of poisoned chip oil. Wow. Try to always remember. Like, obviously, the drunkenness, massively exaggerated, really fake, really kind of cringe. Uh, I guess she puts it in to be entertaining. I guess she wants to try and sell herself as a train wreck. Kind of cringe, not really enjoyable, like, whatsoever. But if we were to believe it's real. Sober Amberlynn does the editing for this and she decided to keep that in and edit it in such a way to try and be funny and quirky so we know what she's going for. I, I'm really disappointed in that one. The last one was like absolutely fine. It was like, okay, decent. And instead we got her pretend to be drunk. Another fake story about meeting yet another man because like I said, I, I honestly think she is going for the, the feeder audience and she is like, that's why she's starting to clickbait her sexuality and shit like that. Very cringe. Really, oh, I was really disappointed in that. Uh, yeah, have a good one guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.